in this we are going to learn a new method to factor trinomials with a not equal to 1 so in this you can see that a equals 6 so this is a but in this case a equals 6 so we're going to learn a method what we do when um, a not equal to 1 like in this case so um, so we're going to call the method the magic factorization or you can also call it a cycle method uh, the reason is you can see that when you when you um, study the method uh, it, those numbers gonna go in a cycle uh, like that so um, so we can call the cycle method so the first uh, so the goal is to uh, factor factor like things like this a x squared plus bx plus c so these are what we call trinomial that means there are three um, monomial terms so we call trinomials um, and then we know that so we know uh, how to factor we know how to factor uh, we know how to factor trinomials with a equal one trinomials with uh, a equal one so for example uh, let's say we have x squared uh, minus uh, let's say like plus x minus 6 something like that so the question is how to factor this so this is very easy uh, what we're going to do uh, we're going to think of uh, two factors of negative 6 that's going to add up to uh, the coefficient of x so in this case the coefficient of x is 1 so we're going to think of two factors of negative 6 that's going to add up to 1 so for example what are the factors um, so you can see that in this case uh, there are some fact because it's a negative six that means the two numbers should have different different signs so we can go with six and negative one but we can see that when you add those two numbers you get five that, that so that doesn't work and you can see three and negative two and you can see that those two other numbers when you multiply you get negative six when you add you get plus one so that means since we know that these two are the numbers it's very easy to write the factorization it has to be x plus the first number which is three and x uh, and then minus two that's the other number so that is the factorization so it is so simple so you just pick the two factors that's going to add up to uh, the middle uh, coefficient of the middle term and then that's going to give you the factorization so this is easy to do uh, that's happened when a equal one now the question is what are we going to do if a not equal to one so now the question is how to factor a x squared plus b x plus c when a not equal to one so the goal is we're going to factor this when a not equal to one so let's look at a uh, look at an example so let's say you have uh, six x squared plus uh, 13x uh, minus 5 so let's say you have this one so what we're going to do first we're going to multiply these two numbers so we're going to multiply these two numbers and when you multiply these two numbers you can see that you're going to get negative 30 so that's the starting point so you're going to get you're going to multiply these two numbers and get the number so you can negative 30 now we're going to think of two factors of negative 30 uh, that's going to add up to thir 13 positive 13 in this case which is plus 13 so you can think of two numbers two factors of negative 30 that's going to add up to 13 so let's think of um, a few factors of uh, 30 uh, so you can see that uh, uh, one number is uh, you can go with uh, 10 and uh, negative 3 so the problem is when you add those two numbers uh, you can see that you get 7 so that doesn't work and then we can also think of uh, 15 and negative 2 you can see that actually when you add these two you get 13 so that means that is the right choice because that's when you add these two numbers you get 13 that's what uh, should happen so if you had negative 13 here you're going to write negative 15 and 2 we can do that in few other examples we can do several examples so so that's the first step so you figure out 
two factors of negative 30 that's going to add up to the coefficient of the middle term so maybe figure out those two other numbers that's the first step now the question how to how to uh, go forward so the next step is you look at the coefficient of x squared in this case 6 so you're going to think of two factors of uh, 6 you can think of two factors of 6 that's gonna evenly divide those two numbers the two numbers the 15 and negative 2 so we can think of two factors of 6 that's gonna evenly divide 15 and negative 2 for example let's say you pick 6 and 1 let's say you pick 6 and 1 and you can see that 6 and 1 are not a good option the reason is 6 doesn't divide those two numbers evenly so uh, so that means this is this is not an option so uh, so the other number that you're gonna think of is 3 and 2 and you can see that uh, 3 and 2 3 and 2 actually evenly divide those two numbers so so that means so we can write this one as so we can see that 15 divide uh, so 3 divide 15 and and then 2 divide negative 2 so that is exactly uh, what we want here so now how we write the factorization and you can see that now we can clearly write the factorization so so the question is what numbers we can write as the coefficient of x so you can see these two are the numbers we can write as the coefficients so first number going to be 3 so it is 3 and then x and then we're going to put another bracket the other number is 2x so that's those are the two numbers that we're going to uh, put here 2x and 3x now the question is what are the rest of the terms oh that is the cycle now we're going to write so the number goes to the other factor is so the number goes to, it's going to go to the other factor is simply what we get here we, we see that we got 15 over 3 that's exactly the number goes to the other one so that means in this case it is plus 5 15 over 3 is 5 and then now you're going another cycle backward so that's the cycle go to the other one so that number is negative 2 divided by 2 so the other one is negative 2 divided by 2 that means in this case it is negative 1 so that is how you can write the factorization so again what we did uh, we first multiply 6 and negative 5 so you get negative 30 and then we think of two factors that's gonna add up to the coefficient of the middle term in this case 13 so that means you can see that the, the numbers that works is 15 and negative 2 next what we do we go to the uh, coefficient of x square which is 6 and think of two factors of 6 that's evenly divide 15 and negative 2 those two numbers are the coefficient of the factorization you can see 3 and 2 are the are sitting in front so that is those are the two numbers that go in front and then to get the other number what we do we simply divide the 15 and negative 2 by 3 and 2 so you can see that it's 3 and 2 not 2 and 3 because 2 and 3 doesn't divide evenly so it should be 3 and 2 that's why 3 and 2 goes there and you can clearly see that 6 and 1 doesn't work so that's how you uh, use the uh, factorization method so we can look at few other examples now you also see that at the right hand side is equals to negative 1 and the left side is equal to 5 and then you can see that those two are the numbers goes inside the um, parenthesis so that means we can actually write like a crisscross uh, crisscross argument here so so what happened here is we can write 15 over 3 and negative 2 over 2 so you can see so uh, these two are the uh, coefficient of x and then if you like write this as a, a, a crisscross type argument so that so 3 goes with negative 1 and then 2 goes with 5 so you can write it like that because those two are the numbers goes inside the uh, bracket and then uh, for example you can directly write like this you can say 3x uh, minus 1 and then 2x plus 5 so that's how it works so let's look at a few more examples factor the following trinomials so as the first example we have 6x squared minus 7x minus 5 
So the first step is we're going to multiply the first and the last numbers. So you get negative 30 in this case. And you multiply 6 and negative 5, negative 30. So the ne next step is think about two factors of negative 30. That's going to add up to the middle coefficient. So middle coefficient in this case is negative 7. So you can think of two factors of negative 30. That's going to add up to negative 7. And you can clearly see that those two numbers are negative 10 and 3. And then the next step is think about two factors of 6. Think, of, think about two factors of 6. That's going to evenly divide these two numbers. So let's say, for example, uh, you pick uh, 6 and 1. So 6 and 1 are factors. But the thing is that you can see 6 doesn't evenly divide those two numbers. So that means 6 and 1 is not an option. Uh, then we can think of uh, 2 and 3. And you can see 2 and 3 actually evenly divide those two numbers separately. So you can see 2 divide uh, negative 10 and 3 divides 3. So that means that is the right option. So now we can write the factorization. So in the factorization, is 2 and 3 are the coefficient. So 2 is the one coefficient. And then the, in the other factorization, 3 is the other coefficient. That's where the 2 and 3 comes from. Now, to fill the gap, uh, find the numbers, what we're going to do, we're going to use a cycle argument here. So you can see, so the number goes uh, here to the other factor is simply a negative 10 divided by 2. So in this case, which is negative 5. And then we're going to fill the other cycle and you're going to go like that. So that is, you can see it is 3 over 3. So that means plus 1. So that is how you can write the factorization. So we can call it, this is a um, cycle argument. So let's look at the next example. But in the next example, I'm going to go do it much faster. We can use the crisscross argument because you can see we can avoid some of those writing. So let's look at the next example. So we have 6x squared plus x minus 5. Again, as before, we're going to multiply the two numbers. So you get negative 30. And then think of two factors of negative 30. That's going to add up to 1 because you can see the coefficient is 1 here. So you can see that those two numbers are 6 and negative 5. Actually, in this case, it is negative 6 and 5. Those two numbers are uh, 6 and negative 5. 6 and negative 5. Because that's going to add up to a 1. Now you can think of two factors of 6. That's going to evenly divide uh, 2 and uh, even divide 6 and negative 5. And you can see that. 2 and 3 are not an option because the reason is when you, uh, you know that 6, uh, 2 divide 6 but 3 doesn't divide negative 5 and then 3 divide 6 but 2 doesn't divide negative 5. That means 2 and 3 are not an option. So, but we know the option is 6 and 1. So if you see that, you can directly write it. Now, since it's 6 and 1 and then we know that uh, the coefficient should be 6 and 1. So it is 6x and uh, 1x uh, we just write x because we don't write 1x uh, and then the numbers are so what we can do uh, we can use a crisscross argument and you can see that uh, 6 divide 6 and then 1 divide negative 5 so the crisscross argument tell you that 6 has to go with um, negative 5 over 1 which is negative 5 and then 1 has to go with 6 over 6, which is 1. So you can write it like that, uh, like quickly. So it's like a crisscross argument. So what we did, so uh, it is 6 over 6, and then negative 5 over 1. So we're going to multiply like crisscross. Uh, we're gonna, that's the argument. So that means 6 go with negative 5 over 1, 1 go with uh, 6 over 6. So yeah, so we what we need is just this. But this can tell you everything. This can tell you what are the coefficients. That's the bottom numbers. And the number simplifies are the numbers go inside. Okay, so let's look at one more. So we have 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. Again, as before, multiply the two numbers. So you're going to get 4 times 6, which is 24. 
now you're going to think of two factors of 24 that's going to add up to negative 11. so you have to think about this one because you see that the product is positive if the product is positive the two numbers either has to be both positive or both negative but you know that this can add up to a negative number so that means the both numbers has to be negative so that means the two numbers are are negative 8 and negative 3 so it is negative 8 and negative 3 so that's the first step and then we can think about two numbers that's going to evenly divide evenly divide those two numbers so you can see that uh, 4 has uh, 2 and 2 as factorization but you can see that doesn't work because 2 doesn't divide negative 3 evenly so that means this is not an option so you can see the option is 4 and 1 so that means you can write the coefficient it has to be 4 x and 1x and then uh, the other number is so we can write this one as so we can this is 4 uh, negative 4 over 4 negative 3 over 1 so that means the other two number is 4 go with uh, negative 3 4 go with negative 3 and then 1 go with negative 2 over negative 8 over 4 means negative 2 so that's factorization so let's look at one more example uh, so we have uh, a different variable now we have t so that's fine and then uh, you can also see that there's a negative coefficient and interestingly this method is still works so let's say you have negative negative 60 squared plus 70 plus 5 and as before we're going to multiply the two numbers and then you can see that when you multiply the two numbers uh, as before you get uh, negative 30 and then you're going to think of two factors of negative 30 that's going to add up to uh, positive 7 so you can see those two numbers are uh, 10 and negative 3 now we can think of two factors of negative 6 that's going to evenly divide uh, those two numbers um, so you can see you have a lot of options here so uh, for example you can go with um, uh, you can see 6 and 1 doesn't work but you can go with uh, 2 and negative 3 you can go with 2 and negative 3 or negative 2 and 3 or anything works so let's say you go with 2 and negative 3 so that is 2 and negative 3 so that means you can write the factorization so we can use the crisscross criss argument now so we're going to write it like that so that means 2 go with you can see uh, 2 x go with negative 3 or negative 3 means plus 1 and then uh, negative 3 x go with uh, 10 over 2 means 5 so you can write the factorization like that so this is how we can use the uh, magic factorization to factor something really quickly so now what you can do is you can practice um, and then you can see that this method works uh, anytime when there are uh, rational zeros okay so we can add this not so the not the method works method works uh, anytime when there are uh, rational zeros yeah so the method works anytime when there are rational zeros okay so it doesn't work for irrational zeros and complex zeros okay so now you can try these practice problems just to master the method so we're going to call this method the uh, magic factorization or the uh, cycle method or you can even call this is a crisscross argument because you can see uh, you're gonna uh, multiply like a crisscross so you can say this crisscross argument so you can use any of those methods the magic factorization the cycle method or the crisscross argument okay so try to uh, do uh, find those uh, factorization of this one and you can find the answer in the description so uh, so this one actually you have to rewrite with the negative uh, one in front because you have to switch them and then also try to use the proper variables Okay, thank you.